welcome to civil services achievers point we are discussing today the assam tribune of 1st 2nd and 3rd october 2020 at civil services achievers point we have various courses for details you can call at the number given below these are the answers to the mcqs of 30 september 2020 these are the mcqs of 3rd october 2020 you can pause the video here and you can attempt these questions kindly comment the uh, kindly mention the answers in the comment section these are very important uh, mcqs like the quadrilateral organization or quad members so you can attempt these answers in the comment section which countries are the member of the quad group these are the important newspaper articles we are discussing and the important editorials so students let us begin the first article is very important with respect to general studies on assam paper gs5 and topic we can study it under the literature or culture topic gogon chandra odigari has passed away so eminent children's writer gogon chandra odigari has passed away and he was devoted himself he devoted himself wholeheartedly to children's literature for over 60 years and he has made a name of himself in his in this chosen field and this is one important fact which apsc may ask in the upcoming prelims exam regarding this topic that adhigari is the only assamese writer to be awarded by the sahitya academy for contributing exclusively to children's literature so this is a very important point students should make a note of it because apsc has a habit of asking questions on authors and books so this question may be asked since it is in the news then he has published around 13 books which includes six anthologies or collections of poems these are names of the books of the poems you can make a note of these books names because any books name may be given by apsc and they will give options that who is the author of this book so that we in that time we can correctly answer tick the correct answer so you should remember these names since it is in news then fiction and folk tales these are the books and compilation and editing these are the books so this topic is very important from this question will definitely come in apsc prelims then coming to the next important topic coast guard ship named after konakota it is commissioned so this topic we can study with general studies three paper security topic we can also have a link case of this topic in the our gs5 paper that is general studies on assam paper so icgs konakota borua which is a fast petrol vessel fpv of the indian coast guard was commissioned in kolkata and ships of the icg that is the indian coast guard are named after women freedom fighters of the country so this time the fast vessel petrol has been named as konakota so built by the kolkata based garden ridge ship builders and engineers limited icgs that is the indian coast guard ship kanakata borua is the fifth and final ship in the series of fast petrol vessels fpvs for the indian coast guard and this is the 105th vessel delivered by the defense psu shipyard that is by the garden ridge ship builders and engineers limited so here a brief we will know we will study and we have already covered this in our assam history classes kanakrata borua was killed in police firing while leading a procession during the quit india movement at gohpur on september 20 1942 she was only 17 years of age at the time of her martyrdom then coming to the next important topic india test fires upgraded brahmos supersonic cruise missile 
So this topic we are studying under general studies three paper topic security. So India has successfully test fired a new version of the surface to surface supersonic cruise missile. So this question may be asked by UPSC or even by APSC that what is a BrahMos? So we have to know that it is a surface to surface supersonic cruise missile. There APSC may give option as air to surface, surface to air. So these missiles, whenever they are in the news, we should have a proper look at them. And also we have to know the range. So they're having a range of around 400 kilometer from an integrated test range. So the range we should know and what is the type of the missile. So it is a surface to surface supersonic cruise missile. Missile. The missile featuring a number of indigenously developed subsystems was first uh, was flight tested from a land based mobile launcher for a designated range at the 10.30 a.m. from the range at Balasor in Urissa. And India has already deployed a sizable number of the original BrahMos missiles and other key assets in several strategic locations along the border with China in Ladakh and Arunachal Pradesh. Now coming to the next important topic, the new agricultural laws will benefit the Northeast farmers. So this is the comment by the Union Minister of State for Youth Affairs and Sports, Mr. Kiran Rizizu. So the three newly enacted farm legislations are the biggest reforms in India's agriculture sector since independence and it will definitely benefit the farmers of the Northeast immensely. This was the statement. Then he further added that the legislations will provide the much needed freedom to farmers and provide them the scope to sell their produce at the best price. Because as we know, as per the latest acts passed by the parliament, the farmers will have an, uh, will have a choice that whether they want to sell in the mandi, the local mandis or government approved mandis, or they can also choose the private players if they are getting a better remuneration or better uh, price for the farmers goods. So uh, the minister has also said that the following the enactment of the new legislations, the Northeast will turn into a trading hub for horticultural and other primary products. The reforms will do away with the old restrictions. Farmers will now have more freedom to sell their produce. They will no longer be forced to sell their produce only to local mandis. They can now go for interstate and intrastate sale. So they can choose to, to trade between two different states or within the same state they may trade also. Now coming to the next important article, Myanmar urged or Myanmar is requested to sign the extradition treaty with India. So this is we will study under the general studies two paper international relations topic. So India has urged Myanmar to sign the extradition treaty and transfer of sentence persons through which the neighboring country will be legally bound to hand over insurgent leaders of the Northeast and including the Pores Borua of Ulfa independent faction. Also, India has said that it is working towards operationalizing the Sitwe port. Sitwe po, port is in the Myanmar and this will link with India so, uh, so that in case of see uh, if this is the northeast then since there is a chicken neck then if due to some reason the chicken neck breakage happens then northeast india will have no connection with the mainland india so what government is uh, trying to develop kaladan project so as per the kaladan project there is a port in myanmar so this is myanmar here around there is a situa port so from Calcutta, it will go to Sitwe. Then from Sitwe along the river Kaladan, it will again enter to Mizoram. So 
this is the aim of government and it is a part of the kaladan multimodal project so again it is said that myanmar is a country of special importance and uh, it is at the heart of our neighborhood first and activist policy so there is also notable pro uh, progress in several of our defense cooperation projects with myanmar and a team for a deployment of meteorological squadrons will be reaching myanmar this month in the for the inspection now coming to the next very important topic apsc will definitely ask a question on this students please uh, listen to this very carefully apsc whenever any uh, because this topic is very important from our geography of india topic various uh, locations or infrastructure national highways tunnels passes these are highly asked by apsc and since it is in news uh, since many days it will definitely be asked by apsc so prime minister narendra modi will inaugurate the strategically important all weather atal tunnel which reduces the distance so you have to know that this atal tunnel re reduces the distance between manali and leh by 46 km and the travel time by 4 to 5 hours at rohtang in himachal pradesh so modi has inaugurated in rohtang and atal tunnel connects between manali and leh atal tunnel is the longest highway tunnel in the world and the 9.02 km long so what is the length of it 9.02 km long tunnel connects manali to lahol spiti valley throughout the year the valley was earlier cut off for about 6 months every year due to heavy snowfall so due to during winter time the valley is cut off so now in this tunnel it will be connected throughout the year so the tunnel is named after atal bihari vaspai because the atal bihari vaspai government had taken a decision to construct the strategic tunnel below the rohtang pass on june 3 2000 now we are discussing the important editorials so in this editorial a very critical analysis of the national education policy 2020 has been made so the author uh, this editorial we are discussing under the general studies to paper governance topic the new national education policy nep recommended by the union cabinet in july 2020 seeks to introduce the new structure of 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 in place of the existing 10 plus 2 plus 3 in the primary and middle stages so what is this 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 it is the first 5 years comprise the foundation stage in which teaching will be without any textbook and this will consist the third fourth and fifth year also pre primary phase so the out of the first 5 years the first 3 years will be called the pre primary then the second 3 years will be the 6th 7th and 8th classes called middle education and the last four will be 9 10th and 11 12 so in these four classes in these four classes there will be no separate syllabi for arts science and commerce and one of the significant proposals is that the education up to class 12 will be made compulsory and free for all because in the existing system it is only up to class 8 and uh student who will complete one year in the degree will get a certificate which might help the student to apply for some jobs of his standard and he or she will get a diploma after the completion of two years and a degree after three years and the honors will be given after completion of four years course the lengthening of the period of getting a degree up to four years is as per the author is not good as it may not be possible to employ more teachers because of financial burden on the part of the government also proposed to lay special emphasis on arts and culture by allowing a student of say science subjects like physics or chemistry to go for fine or performing arts as one of the subjects in degree course 
policy has started that there will be uh, has stated that there will be no importance to the traditional system of examination at the primary and middle school levels so the author has given serious doubts about the success of the high school of the high sounding goal without developing the necessary infrastructure in all parts and among all sections of the people of the country so every section of the society uh, without giving them sufficient access and infrastructure provisions then implementation of this policy will take some time to succeed so one important uh, proposal is that the new policy suggests to allocate 6% of gdp in the budget under the head of education against the present only 2% of the gdp the kothari commission long back in 1964 suggested the allocation of 6% in the education budget so with this students we come to an end to today's kind of first class i hope this class is very helpful thank you for watching the video thank you